Hey, what's up everyone? It's Kat. Welcome back to Book 2 Beginnings. Hi! I think I am going to do my January wrap-up and February TBR all in one video because I had a crazy couple of days that just passed and I want to get this up in a timely manner so I just thought it would be easier for you, for me, especially me, to just put it all in one video. First, I'm going to start off with my January wrap-up. I read six books this month, which is so good compared to last month which was zero so you know progress <laughs> the first book that i read was you reach sam by dustin we're following this main character her name is julie and julie's like she's a planner she plans her whole life like planning going to college and moving in with her boyfriend out of state but what she didn't plan was her boyfriend dying suddenly she's grieving and she decides hey I kind of want to hear his voice, so I'm going to give him a call just to hear his voice about, you know? She calls him and he answers. That's all I want to say about this book. It was so gut-wrenching and so heartbreaking. If you want to cry, this is the book to read, <laughs> but if you don't want to cry, I'd stay clear of it. It was just so beautiful. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. <laughs> If you watched my reading vlog, you would know that this was not my favorite. This is about these people who leave these babies out in the woods thinking that this witch is, uh, takes them, like they leave them for sacrifice so that the witch can take him. And the witch is thinking, why are these people leaving these babies here? <laughs> so she takes this one baby and she feeds them starlight to keep them you know to, to keep them alive through the journey but we follow the one child that she accidentally gives a moonlight and moonlight gives them magical powers that's where we go this was an average read i gave it two and a half stars it was not my favorite as you guys know i'm trying to get into fantasy this year and i thought this would be like interesting to start off with and it was really hopeful for this but again <laughs> it was not my favorite we talked a lot about this on Jan's channel on the live stream. So if you read this and you want to hear in-depth thoughts, definitely check out the live stream. But the book that I read after was my absolute favorite. Una Out of Order by Margarita Mon Montimore. Montimore? Let me tell you. This book was an absolute 5 out of 5 stars. It was perfection in my eyes. This book is about a girl on her 18th birthday. Her birthday is like on New Year's. So on New Year's on her birthday. She doesn't turn 19. She turns 51. We follow her try to figure out what is going on. So each year she's living her life out of order. I absolutely love this book so much. Oh, I had such a good time reading it. I loved all the characters. She leaves herself notes each year and so you don't know like exactly what's going on she doesn't give everything away so that there's no spoilers in her life but oh my goodness this book had me like turning each page like i absolutely absolutely love this and i would recommend for everyone to at least try this book because it's so good the next book i read was the tea dragon society by katie o'neill and also i just want to say thank you camila for give, gifting me this book i gave it four out of five stars it's basically about this girl right here who is learning about these tea dragons that make these teas and how to take care of them you also kind of get the friendship aspect. It was a cute little fun read that I like finished in an hour. The next book I read was War Cross by Marie Lu. And can I just say, this book was so fun and like, I didn't really know what I was expecting picking it up. I kind of, I know like everyone compares this to Ready Player One. I personally did not read Ready Player One, even though I think I would love it. But I did see the movie. So this was a fun experience. I adored the main character, Amika. Listen, this book had all the turns. I know, I just really, really loved it. And I love like sci-fi in this aspect. Like this is like my comfort. 
So this was a fun read. I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. And I'm for sure continuing on with the series. I'm, I'm planning on ordering the next book very soon. The last and final book that I read was Hatchet by Gary Polson. So I read this in middle school. And I don't know about like y'all's middle school or what, but ours, we did not finish it. And let me tell you, this story has been in my head, like the scene, like the very beginning scene has been in my head for how many years? Like how long ago have I been in middle school? A long time, right? <laughs> like more than 10 years. So obviously this had a big impression on me and I never found out the ending of this book. So I had bought it a while ago and I finally decided to pick it up. This book is about a boy named Brian. He's 13 and his parents are divorced. Because of this, he's on this helicopter with just him and the pilot on his way visiting his dad. The plane crashes into the middle of nowhere. This was a fun survival story. I'm so happy that I finished it and it did have this like lasting impression on me. I did give it four stars on Goodreads but it's like a 3.5, 3.75 around that area. But if you've read this let me know if you read this in middle school and did you finish it? Our class didn't care to finish it so I'm just curious if you finished it. Let me know and let me know your rating if you rated it. On to my February TBR. Now, I don't know if I'm going to read all of these books. January I didn't have a TBR and I kind of was living for it, so I was just mood reading. I did, however, feel like I was like, oh, I don't know what to read next. I don't know what to read next. And like staring at my shelves. I kind of liked that I didn't have a set TBR. So this time I have a TBR of a lot of books. So I don't think I'm going to get through all of them. But... I have options that I know that these are the books that I want to read this month. So I am going to show you them now. The first book being Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. To be honest, I don't know what it is about. So I'm going to read a little bit of the back to you. It's not exactly love at first sight for Tate Collins when she meets the tormented and secretive Miles Archer. They wouldn't even go so far as to consider themselves friends. The only thing Tate and Miles have in common is a mutual physical attraction that can't be denied. Once their desires are out in the open, they realize they might have stumbled on their perfect no-strings arrangement. He isn't looking for love and she doesn't have time for it. What they've got could be surprisingly satisfying as long as Tate can stick to the two rules. Miles has for her. Never ask about the past. Don't expect the future. They think they can handle it, but everything is different when real emotions start to change the equation. This sounds actually really fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad I read the back because it makes me more excited to actually read this. Um, a lot of people love this book though, so I'm excited to get into it. Y'all, it's February as well, so like I'm going to have a lot of romances, but this one... However, it's not a romance. This is Elevation by Stephen King. If I do read this this month, this will be my first Stephen King novel. I feel like it's very not intimidating by the length of it. So I'm excited to get into it. I read the back of this and it's about a guy who like is losing weight without actually losing weight. Like his, he keeps on stepping on this scale and he's losing weight but he his physical appearance is like the same and i don't i don't know if this is a thriller i don't know if this is a horror i have no idea what i'm getting myself into with this but i don't want to know more because of that because i feel like the back sometimes gives you like major spoilers if y'all read this please let me know if it's good because i'm genuinely curious so this is um random but it's on the list it's on the list the next book i want to read is the honey don't list by christina lauren this is probably the only christina lauren book that i own that i have not read yet so i definitely want to get this read so this one i'm going to read a little bit of the back for you Gary duncan has worked for home remodeling and designing gurus melissa and rusty trip for a decade a country girl at heart carrie started in their first store at a, at 16 and more than anyone would suspect has helped them build an empire with a new show and a book about to launch the trips are on the verge of superstardom there's only one problem america's favorite couple can't stand each other 
I don't know what people are thinking of this book, so if you've read it, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. The next book I want to read this month is Dear Martin. All it says in the back is Justice is a good kid, an honor student, always there to help a friend. So why is he the one in handcuffs? Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be very powerful, very educational, and very emotional. So I definitely want to get into this this month. Um, I've had this on my shelf for a little over a year now, and I don't know why I haven't read it yet. Definitely want to get into this one. Okay, some more romance, y'all. The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. All I really know about this, this is an enemies to lovers kind of romance, and I love these kind of romances. So I'm excited to get into this. I don't want to know too much about this one, but I know a lot of people love this book. It's also a movie starring Lucy Hale. I have to read this at least at some point this month because... I really want to see the movie and it'd be cute to watch for Valentine's Day. The next book is Get a Life, Chloe Brown. This was a gift as well from Issa, so thank you so much. I know absolutely nothing about, but BookTube went crazy over this series when it came out. And honestly, that's all I need to know. All it says is love wasn't on her to-do list. So I'm assuming she's a planner. We love to see it. And the next book I have here is The Love Hypothesis. Now this one I know zilch about. I don't want to know anything about it. Everyone again went crazy over this. And I just want to go in blind to be honest. I just know I have a feeling that I'm really going to love it. The next book I have here is Heard It in a Love Song by Tracy Garvis graves now this one is about okay i'm gonna read the inside for you because <laughs> i'm having a hard time trying to wear this out myself love doesn't always wait until you're ready layla layla is 35 and recently the war struggling to break free of the past her glory days as a lead singer in a band and a 10-year marriage to a man who never put her first layla's newfound independence feels a lot like loneliness then there's Josh, the single dad, whose daughter attends the elementary school where Layla teaches music. Recently separated, he's still processing the end of the 20-year marriage to his high school sweetheart. He chats with Layla every morning at school and finds himself thinking about her more and more. Equally cautious and confused about dating in a world that favors apps over meeting organically, Layla and Josh decide to be friends with the potential for something more. Sounds sensible and way too simple, but when two people are on the rebound, is it heartbreak or happiness? That's a love song away. This sounds like so good. <laughs> Y'all, ever since I made my 22 books that I want to read in 2022, this has been on my mind. <laughs> Just this. So this may happen this month. This may not happen this month, if not this month, sometime in the near future. But I really want to read Crush. I recently just read a recap of Crave. Yeah, Crave left off on a cliffhanger. Y'all didn't know. So, definitely want to read this this month. I want to. Now, if it's going to happen, I don't know, but it's it's a want. It's a, it's a real want for me. That was everything. I did my wrap up. I did my February TBR. I hope this is okay. Like, I, let me know if you like them together or if you prefer them separate. I know this month was just really hard for me to do them separate because I wanted them out at a decent time. So just it was just easier for me to edit one video than try to edit two separate videos, try to figure out when I was going to post them, all of that. So please bear with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want more bookish content, please hit that subscribe button and stay a while. I'll see you next week with another video. Bye everyone.